Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back. We're looking around the town, we're trying to find some flowers and some other bits and bobs so we can grow some epic plants to get some honey from our bees. Well, and well. Luke goes back. Return to the scene of the crime, have we? Yeah, and this guy's being a bit annoying. So, um, can we not go this way? No, I guess that's it. Uh, we didn't check this out in the last one though, so let's do that. Uh, what is this thing? Splash. Oh. Okay, that's literally it, is it? Can we not view the plaque or anything? No, so we need some sort of other ah, cheese. Mr. Bollies. Uh, also, I've been told that we can speak more to people because there aren't actually special dialogue lines you select in this game, so we're going to have to exhaust it by talking to people over and over again. So that's something a little bit different to the likes of Back to the Future of the Game and Tales of Monkey Island, which is pretty cool. So let's do that. I don't understand the delay. It's only 50 gallons of honey. Well, the bees get a bit confused. They're on the modern metric system, you see. Takes them a while to do the conversion. Right. Ooh. That makes sense. <laughs> Not. But you will deliver the honey in time for my festival of crumpets, won't you? I'd hate to have to serve jam. <laughs> Everyone does jam. Don't worry, Mr. Paneer. Your order is in safe hands. Oh, yeah. Hopefully not jam. My order is on its way? Uh, yes. Of course. Just a few kinks in the production line, that's all. Nothing to fret over. Have you come to deliver my order? Uh, it's not quite ready yet, I'm afraid. You're not going to disappoint me? Not after yesterday's little incident? Oh, no. You can count on from me to you. Yeah, we won't disappoint you. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that I've been told. Um, so, let's... so we've been to the town centre. Not drawn for scale, okay. Uh, so, we've got West Wallaby Street and we've got home as well. So, uh, let's go to West Wallaby Street and see. Is that you again, Wallace? Take cover, man! Take cover! So, is there anything we can do to sort of convince him that he's not about to get bombed or <laughs> anything like that? I wonder if the dog tags will work on him. Like as a sort of military thing. I found these in the hall, Major Crumb, and dog tags. I've been recommissioned. Bound to heaven, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the treasure. Right. So I wonder if can we now get Didn't it? Just spare just one protein bar. Stop this insubordination at once, man! They are for emergencies only, when supply lines are down and a man's got no other way of keeping his strength up. But if, as you say, we're expecting some kind of airborne incursion... Indeed we are! Expecting the air raid sirens any minute! Right, so I wonder if there's a way we can simulate the air raid sirens then to try and let him... Well, get him to let us have the bars. Uh, I guess we can go back home and have a look here for stuff. Oh, look, the squirrel's up there. Confront. Oi, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. Oh, yeah, he stole it. threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. As a bee to a blossom, eh? Yeah, yeah, shut up. Right, so he's in... How are we going to get this little dude out of the garden? No flowers in here. Maybe we've got to try and lure him into the house or something. Is that something we can do? It's the wrong trousers! <laughs> oh, that's well good. Oh, I love that the wrong trousers are in the game. <laughs> that's a nice little Easter egg, actually. I'm really happy about that. Uh, didn't we come out of the back door though? Or are they actually next to each other or something? Can we go into the garage? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, we went along the path, didn't we? So the squirrel is in the tree. How are we going to get him down from there? 
Oh, I wonder if he likes Wensleydale. Let's I try that. I don't think she'd appreciate that very much. Oh, it's actually a female squirrel. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um, there must be a way. Maybe Gromit can do it. Maybe Gromit can run up the tree or something. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in the house now, though. Um, so we checked in there, didn't we? Let's go into here. Right, is there anything new we can do in here that we couldn't do before? That is the question. Uh, we've got some blueprints on the table and the bills. That's empty. We already tried that. Uh... What about this that was safe? a grand fishing trip, Gromit, until that giant squid turned up. I want to know more about the giant squid, I'll be honest. Um, right, there's the mashed potato machine. I don't suppose we can do anything with the windows. Doesn't look like it. Uh, this fires at, like, the curtain, doesn't it? Oops. Oh, it's, it's not mashed potato, is it? It's porridge. I keep saying it's mashed potato. It's a porridge machine. Right. Nothing in there. Let's try... So there's got to be something in the basement. Or the kitchen. I'm guessing we're going to need that tea bag back, seeing as the squirrel has still got it. Um, anything else we can do? Let's just have a really good look around. Obviously, we've got flowers now. Uh, Any Gromit? more honey to speak of? Not enough flowers to tip the balance yet. Not to worry. I've got a few ideas. I mean, I have got some flowers. Can we load them into here? Uh, bon appetit. No, oh, we can. Okay. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not. exactly a flood, is it? Yeah, see, I don't know if maybe we don't want to do that because we haven't got the grow teen stuff yet. Uh, is there anything else we can do around here? What's this? My workers are very devoted to their queen. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's like the national anthem but in some sort of weird B version. Uh hmm. place could use a good spring cleaning. Right, so how do we do that? We don't have any cleaning stuff. Uh right, and then the bees come back. Okay, so We've looked at all this, haven't we? Ooh, what was that? Or was that the machine? Yes, yeah, the machine. Hmm. The mystery deepens. I haven't seen any cleaning materials, but maybe there are some in here somewhere. Uh, we've got that. Do we have any cleaning stuff anywhere? Anything in the fridge? Hmm. Running a bit low on Wednesday, Dale. Yeah, it does seem as though we're running a bit low. I don't know what to do the about the... Matic will be perfect for whipping up a tasty growth formula. Right, so when we've got everything we need, we need to use this to, to mix it all up then. So, should we close that? So, to get the squirrel in, all we had to do was make some... Oh. Cold toast. Shame to let it go to waste. Ah, I wonder if we can use that to get the squirrel to come into our garden. No more bread. I'm not surprised the amount we wasted trying to figure out that puzzle. <laughs> um, I don't suppose Wallace can get anything new from here. It's a comfort to know we're well stocked with biscuits. Yeah, there's loads of them. Uh, anything in the oven? No, it's literally just a chance to use it again. Uh, okay. Let's head outside then. We'll check just to make sure we didn't miss anything in the back garden. Uh, yeah, so there's actually nothing in the back garden. I forgot about that. 
can we close this at all? The quickest way in, perhaps, but not the most pleasant. Yeah, it's probably true. Right, let's see if we can use this bit of toast. Because we know the squirrel likes toast, right? Because he kept nicking it. Or she kept nicking it, I should say. Uh, right. Do you want this bit of toast? Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Here you go. Yes, okay, it dropped the tea bag. Oh no! What are you looking for exactly? You know, you must have seen it. Oh, it's on the top. <laughs> Jeez. You're persistent in your attentions this morning, Mr. Wallace. Yeah, you got a tea bag stuck to your chest. <laughs> uh, I wonder, <laughs> Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace. What tea bag? It's literally right there. The one on your um. Uh, ooh. Are you feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace? Yes. Uh, they say that the blooms lower down on the plant give off a sweeter scent. Is that so? Uh, yes. You'll discover if you lean way down that the topmost blooms are perfectly adequate to my needs. Thank you. Oh. How are we going to get this situation sorted out? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to give the purple fansies a sniff. You'd have to, uh, lean over, of course, but... I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies. I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me. Oh, I wonder if we can use the ones we've got and get her to, to sniff these. A pot of purple pansies? And mine haven't bloomed yet. Yeah, mine are better, see? Oh, okay. Can we potentially use these here? Does <laughs> so it just stuff it in there? Oh, that's Miss good. Flint, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll. I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of. Oh, Apple. You see? They're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Yeah, that was definitely it. <gasps> there goes the tea bag. You, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction. Yes, we got it. Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. All right, we got it. Excellent. So, uh, what's the deal with that then? Right, it's strongium. I think that's one of the ingredients we needed for the... Uh, muscle formula, now wasn't it? Then, which ingredients am I still missing? Energides and protein. My task is 33 and a third percent complete. Right, yeah. Okay, so the protein, the general has got that. Oh, sorry, Major, I should call him. Uh, and the Energides were in... The jail cell. How are we going to get them out of the jail cell? That's the question. Oh, caught you! Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. Right, yeah, the snail. Everyone listens to what snails have to say. Right, what can we do with this snail then? Uh, Couldn't you spare just one protein bar? Stop this insubordination at once, man! They are for emergencies only when supply lines are down and a man's got no other way of keeping his strength up. But if, as you say, we're expecting some kind of airborne incursion... Indeed we are! Expecting the air raid sirens any minute! Right, so I wonder if there's a way we've got to get some, like, the bees to come and fly around him or something, or set Have off a force along. The message? Have you shown them the snail? I'm not sure the snail will convince them, Major Crumb. 
If she doesn't, the air raid siren will. But by then, it may be too late. Right, so where are we going to get an air raid siren from? Is there anything in town which makes a siren sound? Have you brought it, Mr. Wallace? No, be patient. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. I know, I know, 50 gallons of honey. Uh, hey, up, Wallace, love. Where have these come from? Business. I swear I, I just to took those. trouble you for another pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly. Oh, no trouble at all. Take it. A gift from one flower lover to another. Hmm, I wonder why we need that then. Uh, is there anything we can talk to this lady about? So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, yep. You've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> the buzz. <laughs> oh, indeed, I have. It's all over town. It'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. Thought you'd shut the window. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. I can tell. So, might you be interested in signing up for my honey deliveries, Mrs. Gabberly? Fresh daily. Oh, I should say so. I'm partial to a spot of honey for my tea. Where's the money? We'll never see honey for tea. Or breakfast, for that matter. Oh, shut up, you. Ah, uh, Wallace knows what he's doing. He's got a head for business. Is that a head? I took it for a parsnip. <laughs> <laughs> Pay him no mind. He does have a funny shaped head, though, when you look at it. It's very sort of narrow and flat. <laughs> if you'd like to sample my honey, Mrs. Gabberly, there'll be a free tasting tonight at Mr. Paneer's Tea and Crumpet Festival. Ooh, is that so? Well, I'll have to pop by. Yeah, you will. I wouldn't bother. He'll never make the delivery. Well, at the moment, I agree with you, but we're, we're bound to find Not a way. any time. I hope they're not being too rough with Miss Sniffer 3000. I wonder if now we've made a move. To what do I owe the pleasure of this return visit? How long do you intend to hold my Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins? As long as the law requires. It's not malicious. It just malfunctions from time to time. Is that so? And sometimes it short circuits when it gets overheated. Perhaps it does. Why? Why don't you try um, talking to it once more? Yeah, All go right. on. Once more. Have another chat with it. You there, prisoner? Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Right. So. Gorgonzola. Well, if that's how he wants to play it, then he can stay in here until he rusts for all I care. Hmm. So we need to find a way of getting him to face... Why do I listen to you, Wallace? That heap of scrap hasn't changed its ways, and never will. So we need to find a way of getting it to face like the third way, don't we? That's that's the problem we've got. The sniffer three thousand wasn't cut out for prison life. It runs on energides, not porridge. So we we don't have. I don't suppose we can chuck the snail in. Not on, I'm afraid. No. Okay. Um. What happens if we do this one? Oh, that worked! Right, okay, I'm not really sure why that worked. Constable Dibbins, please will you give the Snipper 3000 one more chance? You're very insistent, Wallace. Only, I've made a few minor adjustments to its remote control. I think you'll find it a reformed character now. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, go on, in you go. Right, so we have to use the Rotterdam setting on it then. Time we had a little chat. 
Look at me when I'm talking to you. Right. So. Right, there we go. Okay, it's facing him, right? If that's his attitude, he can rot in jail as far as I'm concerned. So it sort of worked. Haven't awakened its better nature. Because it hasn't got one. It's programmed for pandemonium. Hmm. I feel like we're not far away from figuring this one out. The problem is... What's making it face this way? Is it something on here? Uh, is there anything to do with Rotterdam or anything around here? Robot Rodent Ravages Shop. Uh, hmm. That's fine where it is. Not that I can see. Hmm. Okay. We can't go in there, can we? Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Hmm. I mean, we've got the strongium, the, the energides, and the protein. Please, will you give the sniffer three thousand one more chance? You're very insistent, Wallace. Only I've made a few minor adjustments to its remote control. I think you'll find it a reformed character now. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that myself, not you. Right, so I wonder if there's a... You there, prisoner. I wonder if there's I'm a way we can... Me when I'm talking to you. If we can chuck that cheese over towards... No point in that. No. Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. So we need to find a way of getting it to face him. But Constable Dibbins, the sniffer can't understand you. It's only a an impudent scoundrel of a what you ever call it. Hmm. That mattress looks awfully hard. Just as well the sniffer three thousand goes into sleep mode automatically. Yeah, so how are we going to get this to work then? I mean, we've got this remote, but it just makes it face us or the bed at the moment. And when you do this one, it doesn't stay facing it. Maybe it's confused. Oh no, why I bother? I'm too soft, me. Alright, well, I think then that's where we'll leave it because we're approaching time and we're a little bit stuck, so progress we has been made. Our little chat. And? I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. Yeah, so progress has been made. We've got the strongium tea bag from the squirrel, which is good. Um, we know where the protein and the energides are. We just need to figure out a way to actually get them, which is um, causing a bit of trouble at the moment, but we'll get there. Um, so that's going to do it for this one. So as always, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.